Hello, 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 and welcome with Cooking with Camille. I'm your girl Camille with the Moses. We're here to do something quick and easy for a Sunday dinner. This ain't gonna be too easy, maybe about an hour and a half for everything. We're gonna do um, some cabbage and meatloaf. Uh, I got some crowder peas and butter beans on them. I got them in the pot, I put them in the crock pot. I'll show you what they look like and I'll tell you what I put in. You just put the frozen crowder peas and the butter beans in the crock pot and put your seasonings, whatever season you want. I use Italian seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, black pepper. I use garlic and herbs. I use uh, garlic powder, onion powder. I put a, a whole onion in there, cut it, diced it up, and put it in there. I put a, a stalk of celery in there. Yes, the celery. You know I'm special and extra in there. Um, and um, what else? Oh, I put a turkey tail. I put that in there. So they're in there. Let me show you what they look like. Oh, let me turn you around. Look at these, y'all. Let me get a spoon so I can stir them up. Oops. Y'all see these? Oops, wait a minute, y'all. I don't want it to fall. There we go. Look at them. Crowder peas and butter beans. Look at that. Look at that. And I thickened it up with a little flour. Okay. Okay, now we're going to start this meatloaf. Start this meatloaf. And uh, I got a new stand and I'm trying to work with it. It ain't like my old stand. I'm about to go back and get my old stand and keep twirling around. And I don't want to twirl around. So, we're going to start this meatloaf. Uh, okay, so, I got uh, some uh, ground beef. So, we're going to put the ground beef in there. For those who don't know how to make meatloaf, you can make it however you want. Meatloaf. And I'm going to put some, I got this ground pork I'm going to mix in there too. To get rid of it. Okay. We're just going to mix it all together right now. Mix it all together. And I like to use my hands so it can mix well all together. Okay. Okay, then we're going to got some celery. I got two stalks of celery. We're going to add in there. I usually saute them first, but I already did it in here. It's fine. And one onion. Okay. We're going to mix that up real good. I like it to be a little chunky. I want to taste it in my meatloaf really good. Okay, now we're going to do, we're going to put an egg in there. I'm going to put a, okay, as soon as I open it, I got leftover spaghetti sauce. I'm going to pour that in there. A little spaghetti sauce. I don't want to put the water in there because I don't want to make it watery. Okay, I'm going to use a spoonful of... Oh, I can't even open it today. I'm just weak at... Okay, I got it. <laughs> Some garlic. Let me get a spoon. I got, I'm using uh, minced garlic. I got to get some more of this. This stuff is so flavorful and good. When you're cooking with it, everything tastes good. Get about a spoonful of that. I need to buy some more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we're going to add, you know, my garlic herbs. So whatever you want to season your meatloaf with, you can. i add some of that. Add some uh, all-purpose seasoning. All-purpose. <coughs> I got a new one. <coughs> that stuff's strong. I got a new one. All-purpose seasoning. This is by uh, I Got You Seasoning. <coughs> All purpose seasoning. Ooh, that's so strong. And I'm going to use some Italian seasoning. You don't ever get enough of that. It's about one tablespoon of tail. Everything else is about one teaspoon. And I'm going to use, uh, oh, I didn't show you the Italian seasoning. Then a Creole sauce. I'm going to sprinkle that just like you do your meat. And some pepper. Everybody know what pepper looked like, but I showed you just in case. Okay, and then we're going to add some breadcrumbs. 
I say about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. And then I'm going to add that other egg, two eggs all together. The only reason why I didn't check the egg, I usually check the egg. I just bought them, they're fresh. When you have a eggs that's going out of date, you want to cut them up in a bowl so you can see what they look like. Because you don't want them to be black. And some of them be having blood in them. I don't like no, um, ooh, Lord Jesus, I don't want no, um, no, with no blood in them. I mean, the female was going to mate. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me, that's the pepper. And just mix it all together. If you need more sauce, add more sauce to it. And we're just going to mix it together and get it together. Okay, then we're going to add, I only have a little sour cream. I always usually add about two tablespoons of sour cream. So I got about a tablespoon. I'm going to empty this out of sour cream. Sour cream just makes the meatloaf or your hamburger, whatever you use. Y'all notice I use a lot of sour cream when I do hamburger because it makes it so moist. I'm going to mix that all and That's all I'm going to put in there. We're just going to mix it real well. Okay, now we're going to place our meatloaf. I got a casserole dish. We're going to spray it. Okay, I'm going to get some. I'm going to go get some more spray. There's no spray in this. Hold on, let me go get some more spray. And none in. Okay. So we're going to spray the pan. Real good, because you know it's hard to clean meatloaf off when uh, it cooks. Okay, and we're gonna take it and form it into a loaf. This made look how big this one, this loaf made, and just form it the way you want it. Get all your stuff out of the bottom of your um, bowl and form it the way you want it to form. You want it square? You want it long? However you want it. Okay. Because it's going to shrink. It's going to shrink. So, I want to even slices. So, I'm making it a little even. Then we're going to score the top. Score the top. Like so. I just like to score the top. I don't know. It's just a habit. We learned that in chef school. I just want to, I guess it gives it air on the inside, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put this in the oven. You can put it, I'm going to put it at 350 so it can slow cook while I'm cooking everything else. And cook it for about an hour. Okay. I'm going to put that in. Then I'm going to put my cabbage on next. Okay, everybody know how to do a cabbage. I'm going to take the cabbage, we're going to cut this off, and then we're going to wash it real good. Okay, let's just put it right here for you to see. Cut the cord off. Okay, and we're just going to cut it in half. Let me get a bigger knife. Chef knife. This is a chef knife. Okay. You wipe it off. Like I said, you don't know what be crawling in your drawers and everything. Wipe it off. Okay, we're gonna cut it. You know, y'all, I got carpal tunnel, so I can't do too much with my hand. I might have to go ahead and get the hubby to cut this. Okay, and we're just gonna cut it in quarters so we can wash it. Just cut it. Just continue cutting and we'll wash it and be back. Okay, the cabbage all washed and ready to go. It's, um, now you wanna season it. Make sure you took off the end pieces uh, around the cabbage. So that's the one everybody's been touching. I don't want them. they kind of dark. So we're going to add the seasons, what you want. You know, I'm going to add the garlic and herb. I love garlic and herb. And some Creole sauce. Okay. Then I'm going to add some pepper. Some 
some Italian seasoning. Some Italian seasoning. And everything is about one teaspoon of everything, okay? Italian seasoning. Same thing that we put in the meatloaf. Italian. And I don't have no more garlic. Let me see if I can cut up garlic up here. Uh, I got a little bit of garlic. Go add a little garlic to it, okay? Got a couple of, about three. Three of them. I got three of them. Will you cut these up real fine and put them in there? Ooh, I got some more garlic because I put garlic in everything. How's everybody Sunday today? Yep, that's it. Uh, so we're going to do that and add water. You don't want a little, whole lot of water? <coughs> Just a little water. <coughs> and then I'm going to put, a, usually put fresh carrots, but you don't, <coughs> cabbage don't take long. So we got some canned carrots, okay? Okay, so we're going to drain all the carrots in the can. And we're just going to sprinkle them in there. And then we're just going to mix it all together. So all our seasons with the waters in there. And the water is only about a third full. Not even half full, a third. And mix all them seasons in there. And you know what else I'm going to add? You probably think I'm crazy, but I got a habit. I'm like my mom. I'm going to add some sugar to it. Okay, this is, it's already sweet cabbage, but she always adds sugar. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar, and that's it. That's it. Just a tablespoon. <clears throat> then we're going to put that on and let it slow cook. And I'm going to put a little, I got some chicken drippings, chicken drippings. We're going to add the chicken drippings to that. Okay. We're going to put it in the stove and start cooking it. Okay, we got the pot on and everything. I'm all meant to tell y'all, I cut up a bell pepper and put it in the meatloaf too. I forgot to tell y'all that because I had, uh, the phone had dropped. So we got the cabbage on, cabbage ready. So it's going to come, uh, we'll see how that do. And now we're just um, going to do, we're going to do croissant, uh, crescent rolls. Because uh, I was going to do some cornbread. You know what? I think I'm going to do cornbread. That's what we're going to do, cornbread. Okay, when we make our cornbread, I'm going to get my iron skillet and put some olive oil in the bottom of it <clears throat> and put it in the oven and let it get hot. Okay? Let it get hot. And then um, just read the directions on the back and do what the direction says. But we're going to wait to do our cornbread because we're supposed to put it on 400. I'm going to cook these cookies first for dessert. They ain't going to take long. And then we'll do the cornbread. Okay? So we're we'll getting up the temperature. Put it on mine on the... Um, I'll make these sugar cookies. I hope. We'll see how they turn out. Okay, we're just going to follow the directions on there. So it just says uh, 8 tablespoons of butter. That's one stick. One egg. A large egg. And you just mix it all together and put it on a cookie sheet. How easy. That's mm -hmm. easy. Okay, y'all, this cookie mix didn't ask for no milk, no water. You know I added milk. You know I'm extra. And add some more flour to it because I added too much milk. So we're going to see. We're going to work this out. It's going to come out somehow. We'll see. Let's check on the cabbage. Smell good. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It's cooking kind of fast. Turn it down. So they get tender. I hope these cookies turn out. We was playing with these. They don't turn out. I'm not showing y'all. So, um, you know me. I'm always doing something extra because an egg and some butter was supposed to turn that and stir it. It didn't even work. There was enough in it. So, I had to do, do what I had to do. Okay, I'm making this cornbread. And this is the cornbread I got. Quaker's Old Cornmeal. And all you got to do is do follow the cornbread. Uh, one and one-fourth cup of flour, three-fourths of cornmeal, fourth cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, optional, and one cup of milk. And what I do is milk that you had is close dated, like butter. It's like buttermilk. Go ahead and use it. I save it for cornbread. This one out, uh, 430, four, uh, sorry, 429, so I'm using that. And... Um, Vegetable oil and two eggs. Okay? And that's what we're doing. We're just going to 
mix it together and I'm gonna get the oil from the skillet, uh, uh, fourth oil from the skillet that I had put in the oven to get hot so we can mix it all together. So we're gonna mix it, get that. Add that hot grease to it. I'm gonna keep it in the stove so I can really put it in there. Stir that up and just keep stirring and add milk as you need it. Now, sometimes I when I make the honey cornbread, I add honey to it. I add about a cup of honey to it. And uh, sometimes I add a can of corn for cornbread. I want to make it, but I don't want to add no corn because we're having beans. Okay. And you want it like pancake mix. Okay. So I'm going to add a little more milk. It asks for, you know me, I don't ever measure. It asks for how much milk it asks for. It asks for one cup, so I can guess about it. I add a little at a time till I get what I want and mix it all together. And once you get it mixed together, we're going to up the oven to 400. 400? Yep, 400. And put it in the skillet. Okay? And that's all you do. You just whip it real good. That's perfect. Okay, and we'll whip it again, okay? That's it. Our cabbage coming along. Our beans are done. We're waiting on the meatloaf. Okay, and then you just put it in the skillet. And we're going to put it in the oven, 400 degree oven, for about 30 to 35 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Watch it. Okay? Meatloaf coming along. And we're going to make some coleslaw. Now, I'm making coleslaw this time. When you ain't got no coleslaw mix, so you're going to make it with some mayonnaise. I'm going to work this out. Hold on. Okay, we're going to attempt to make this coleslaw. Okay, you shred your cabbage and your carrots, or you can buy the bag. It's already mixed together. You could do um do that. Okay, we're going to add, um, this is about uh, 14 ounces, about a pound. Okay, we're going to add a half a cup of mayonnaise. I use Duke mayonnaise, y'all. Look at this big jar. I love Duke. Duke just got a good flavor. Uh, some, somebody hit me to it. A chef hit me to it. And uh, I've been using it ever since. Okay, so we're going to do one cup of mayo. Two tablespoons of sugar. Tablespoons of sugar. Get it back on that. One and a half teaspoon. No, one and a half. Let's go. One and a half tablespoon. Tablespoon. So this is tablespoon. So we're gonna do one and a half of this of lemon juice. back on that kosher salt we're going to use i got some kosher salt here we're going to use about one fourth teaspoon of kosher salt kosher salt okay one fourth teaspoon of kosher salt i pour it in the sink because i don't want it to oops okay okay that's that and some black pepper, about a half a teaspoon. You know, you can just guess that. And we're going to use one tablespoon of white vinegar. Okay, we're going to do one tablespoon of vinegar. I don't have white vinegar. I'm going to use my apple cider vinegar. We're going to use that. I think I got white vinegar. I just ain't too lazy to go in the pantry to look for it. Okay, then we're just going to mix it all together until you get it mixed thoroughly. And we have our coleslaw. Okay, there we go. Don't go under the couch. There we go. It's all done. Let's taste it. Okay. You know, let Michaela taste it. Okay, I already tasted it. Oh, you already tasted it? Yeah. 
Okay, she tasted it. How was it? Good. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put that in the refrigerator and wait on our food, other food. Okay, our meatloaf's done. Y'all see how it looks? Now we're just gonna add some sauce to it, garlic sauce and some cheese and put it back in the oven for five minutes. Look at that. Put some cheese on it. You can use either white cheese, yellow cheese, whatever you prefer. I got some, um, I'm gonna use whatever I got open. I got some white cheese open, so we're gonna use the white cheese. Oh, it's tiring. And we're gonna let it melt in the oven for about five minutes. And dinner will be done and we can serve. Okay, put that back in the oven. Okay. Look at our meatloaf came out. Look at that, y'all. Look at that meatloaf. Look at that meatloaf. Cabbage. And look at this beautiful cornbread. I had to put some butter on it. We're going to rub some butter on it. Look at that. It's hot. So it's melting. Butter cornbread. Look at that, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all better ask some darn body. Mm -mm -mm. My hands are clean. Okay. Let's plate up. Okay, everybody. Here it is. Meatloaf. Cab fry. Cabbage with carrots and homemade coleslaw and butter beans with crowded peas and turkey tails. Hot butter cornbread. The cookies did turn out. The sugar cookies. I got nuts on some, chocolate chip, icing, and sugar on some. And a glass of fruit punch Kool-Aid. Ooh, we all look at that great for a meal. Okay? Y'all have a blessed day. Again, meatloaf, cabbage, coleslaw. coleslaw Crowder peas and butter beans. Dessert is sugar cookies and butter cornbread. Look at that cornbread, y'all. Look at it. Ooh, Jesus. Y'all better ask somebody. Y'all have a great day. Goodbye and have a nice day. Good Sunday dinner. Closer look. Look at that coleslaw. Look at some beans, y'all. Butter beans and crowder peas with turkey tails. Oh my God. Look at that butter cornbread. Mm, you know what? I should have had some okra. I didn't think about that. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm tired. I'm done. All this took about, all this time consuming took about two hours, y'all. It would usually be an hour and 30 minutes, but I had to make the coleslaw and everything. I just kept adding stuff and adding stuff and adding desserts. So I said about, about an hour and 50 minutes altogether. Okay, have a great day. Love y'all. Bye-bye.